In this tutorial series, we go over the essentials of how to make you and your orchestral instruments sound and look better. This episode will show you four different options to record the audio for your video, either with a smartphone or tablet, with an audio bridge attached to your digital camera, with an external mobile recorder, or with your laptop and an audio interface. We'll look at the pros and cons of each setup and talk about useful basic audio settings. Let's go. The first and easiest way to record the audio for your video is with a built-in microphone of your smartphone or tablet. But this might actually not be the preferred choice to record your orchestral instrument. If you want to improve the sound quality, an external microphone like this Neumann TLM-102 is the way to go. In order to make that work, you need something like the iRig Pre HD or the iRig Pro, which connects directly to your smartphone. It will supply the microphone with necessary phantom power and it has a gain knob to adjust the level, as well as a headphone output to monitor the signal. This unit is also available with two inputs for a stereo recording setup. If you're using a digital camera for your video, a small microphone adapter like this connects directly to the hot shoe mount on top of your camera to work with professional microphones like the Neumann KM184. With both setups, the video and audio are perfectly in sync as they are stored in the same file on the same device. Another option is to record the audio with an external mobile recorder. Some of these devices have even more inputs than just one or two, and the sound quality of the preamplifiers and the converters is much better than in the aforementioned setups. And this is also true for many audio interfaces that connect directly to your laptop to record the audio in a digital audio workstation software like GarageBand, Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, etc. Here you can visually check the levels, see the waveforms and easily edit your audio. As now the audio and video are recorded on two different machines, you need something as a reference to sync both media. And a hand clap will do. The basic audio settings we recommend are a sampling frequency of 48 kHz and a bit depth of 24 bit. When you set the levels, try to set the loudest part at minus 10 or even minus 6 dB. Don't go any higher than this, it's okay to even record lower. Just don't clip your audio as this will distort and sound really bad. Be especially careful with loud instruments with a high dynamic range and a fast attack like timpani or brass. However you record your audio, please turn off any automatic gain modes or sound helpers. The idea is to capture your audio as pure and natural and uncompressed as possible. Before sharing your video, you can easily raise the level of your audio to make it sound loud enough. In any case, when using one or more external microphones, you need microphone cables that are long enough to connect to your audio recorder. Make sure that you use cables with an XLR connector as only they can transmit the necessary phantom power for your condenser microphones. Furthermore, a solid and stable microphone stand with a sufficient height and reach is important as depending on your instrument, your microphone might be even high up in the air. When using a pair of microphones, a stereo bar that fits onto one microphone stand will help you place the two microphones in a secure and optimal way. 